Hey guys, and uh, I was doing an, going to do an unboxing on this, but there was no room for the box in our shed. It, the printer was supposed to go back here. That's why I cleaned this out and why I built that spool holder. But I did find out this circuit won't work, and that kind of sucks. Plus, I mean, I had room to mount it, but it's not going to work. I did already print it once, and that video will be up later, even though it failed. This is what I got. This is what I was trying to print. This is just a little calibration cube that came with the printer. It was annoyingly stuck to the build platform when I got it. Oh, crap, crap, crap. But the cool thing is, it did come with a bunch of tools. And they're all fairly decent. So, but it didn't come with continuous strands of film, and it came with little bits and a chunk of it, which I tried to print with. But I'm going to walk you through what you have to do to load filament, I guess, because that's what I need to do. One-handed. Well, first, you're going to go over to this, and you're going to reverse. Okay. Need a reverse. Closer. Okay, there's absolutely no way for me to do this. Now you just have a little chunk of filament stuck in there. I'm going to pause the video while I try to get that out. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I got it out. I, this is... No, this isn't the piece I had in there. Uh, well, actually, I think that was. This was the piece I was caught in there. That wasn't enough to do a print, so... I'm going to use... Oh, that's not good. This and the Bowden tube I made. Uh, don't need those. So I'm going to walk you through the Bowden tube then. Find the end with the slit in it that's made to go through this little twist tie. One hand it, of course. The thing in my mouth and talk, yay. This is getting annoying. Okay. Now that we have it through there, no, I'm an idiot. No, no, that's not what you do. You find a decent piece of filament, like this, and you feed it through the Bowden tube. So I'm pausing again. Okay, I got the Bowden tube on, and I just need to get the fill up into the hobbed wheel. I need two hands, one to hold the filament, one to press the button on the computer. So I... I have to keep pausing the video. It's annoying. I don't have a camera stand. I'm using my phone. <sighs> but who cares? I got a 3D printer. With a big box. My little brother will probably play in that later. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I got the filament loaded and I just need to bring the Bowden tube down over it. So that's just pulling on the Bowden tube until it rests. Well, it won't rest flush, but it'll use these two... That big slit in it to fan it out. Hold on, I can't grab up my finger, so. That way we have a Bowden tube and. We have it set to the tra as far as it's going to need to travel, so. Don't tighten the Bowden tube at all. You want the Bowden tube to move with it. Would have been nice if there was a smooth rod up here, but. Can't always win. It's not going to slide across easily. Just don't want tension on this. Bone tube adds tension, but it's just a nice thing to have. So let's home everything, starting with Z. Well, let's probably clean it off first. Mm, yeah, you get to look at the board. Good. Uh, 
um, what we're going to do is we're going to clean some of this filament off. Then we're going to do the paper test. This is going to be hard. One handed. Pretty good. I mainly did it to clean filament off, but <coughs> just wanted to make sure before I even attempt to print again. And wow, I did a lot. <laughs> so let's turn the bed on. Set. And. Should probably open up Slicer. I'm going to print settings, uh, speed, uh, skirt and brim, support material, I, I need to find, um, what you call it, a uh, fan, I need to find this fan, yeah, here it is, custom G code, extra one, filament settings, cooling, ah, here it is, keep fan on, Um, okay, platter, export SDL, the best. Now we just have to wait for that to work, uh, SDL file exported, perfect, load file, I did this wrong, we go to compose, load, uh, find desktop, no, desktop, thank you, the best, it's loading, perfect, done, that's gonna load, and Windows. Uh, hold on, just let me use this thing. Okay, we don't want to monitor the printer. Then load file. Let's try actually to do the um test print again. Let me find that so you don't have to watch me scroll through my computer anymore.